In January 2005, torrential and persistent rainfall caused severe, widespread and long-lasting flooding along Guyana's coastal plains. The flood affected around 275,000 people, nearly 40% of Guyana's total population, including the capital city, Georgetown. It is estimated that damages from the flood cost 465 million US dollars. That's 59% of Guyana's 2004 gross domestic product. The East Demerara Water Conservancy stores water in the dry season and prevents flooding along the coast in the wet season. But in January 2005, the unusually heavy and prolonged rainfall caused water levels in the conservancy to become critically high, putting the dam's stability at risk. Fortunately, the dam did not breach, but if it had, it would have caused catastrophic flooding. Billions of gallons of water would have drained over several days into the coastal plains, causing even more damage to the already flooded areas. The 2005 flood left the dam in poor structural condition and highlighted the need to improve the coastal drainage system. So since then, the government has been carrying out several new initiatives to help strengthen and improve drainage and infrastructure whilst planning for new investments. Importantly, sections of the dam at marginal stability were repaired to ensure dam integrity. In addition, the Kofi and Kunya sluices were rehabilitated, key drainage channels were cleared, and internal drainage channels were reactivated inside the conservancy to improve drainage towards the Demerara River. The new Hope Dutch 4 relief canal will also encourage drainage from the conservancy into the Atlantic Ocean. The Conservancy Adaptation Project was set up to learn how the Conservancy functions hydrologically and to pinpoint strategic areas where interventions could make a significant impact in reducing flood risk. A high-precision topographic relief map of the area was created using laser-based LiDAR surveys and aerial photography and verified using ground-based surveys and control points. This was particularly important to determine water flow pathways in this relatively flat area. Bathymetric surveys were carried out in the canals and water channels to establish their depth and across sectional dimensions. And monitoring instruments were also installed in and around the conservancy to measure water levels, stream flow, and rainfall. Computer models of the drainage system were set up using the new data sets and used to understand how the conservancy drains water in response to different rainfall events and to test various options for improving the system. For example, the models were able to simulate how the conservancy would cope during an extreme 10,000-year rainfall event, an event much more severe than in 2005. The model shows that for the 10,000-year rainfall event, the conservancy in its current configuration would not be able to discharge water quickly enough and water would overtop the dam along the northern perimeter. However, the model also shows that the New Hope Dutch Fork Canal, once it is operational, will significantly improve drainage capacity and lower water levels in the conservancy so that even with a 10,000-year rainfall event, water will not overtop the dam. Looking back at the conservancy as it was in 2005, the model shows that then even a 50-year rainfall event would have caused water levels in the conservancy to rise above the safe operating level of the dam. But the improvements made since 2005 have greatly reduced this risk, except along parts of the northern perimeter dam. And once the New Hope Dutch Fork Canal is operational, water levels around all of the conservancy will remain below safe operating level, even during a 50-year rainfall event. The models were also able to test the impact of potential new interventions aimed at improving drainage capacity in the conservancy. The models found that water levels are shallowest around land of Canaan, 
and that there is little connectivity between the eastern and western sides of the conservancy. Therefore, excavating internal channels to increase conveyance and increasing discharge capacity to the Demerara River will help lower water levels in the rest of the conservancy even further. The Cunha Canal Rehabilitation Project, for example, will not only increase discharge capacity at Cunha, but will also serve to improve local drainage, thereby significantly increasing agricultural productivity. During the Conservancy Adaptation Project, geotechnical analyses were also carried out on the dam to establish its stability. Most of the dam was found to be reasonably stable, but under certain conditions, the dam was found to become marginally stable, with the northeast and north dams being the most vulnerable. The government is therefore using the designs proposed in the study to upgrade the dam over a period of time to international standards. Along the east coast, several pumping stations have been upgraded since 2005, such as the one at Liliandal. Under the Conservancy Adaptation Project, computer models were used to explore other options for improving the east coast drainage systems, also taking into account potential sea level rise. Interventions identified to improve drainage include adding pump capacity at existing pump locations and adding new pumping stations, widening channels and rehabilitating culverts, and separating urban and agricultural drainage so that urban areas would be protected against a 50-year rainfall event. The Conservancy Adaptation Project has identified several discrete strategic investments totaling over 123 million US dollars and has strengthened our understanding of the East Demerara Water Conservancy and East Coast drainage systems. The project has also carried out structural investments. The two sluices at Lama were completely rehabilitated, helping to lower water levels in the Conservancy in times of need and an excavator and pontoon were purchased, making it easier and faster to reach areas of the dam in need of maintenance. The Conservancy Adaptation Project, along with other government initiatives, are helping to reduce flood risk and ensure that flooding such as occurred in 2005 cannot happen again.